Good morning, dear students of the ninth grade. Today we are going to talk about an opinion and say. Even though we have these restrictions not coming to school, we have this type of education, which helps us to maintain this type of education. Anyway, uh, today's topic is an opinion essay and it's very important because writing has been always an important part of the English language. And uh, nowadays people, they are tend to express their opinions everywhere, every time they have such an opportunity. Uh, today we have to know how to express our opinion correctly when we are noting on our on some paper or something and writing this opinion essay requires some kind of structure now before we go uh, further uh, according to our book there is a topic considering some ecology problems and nowadays we are going to pay attention special attention of our opinion and noting it as an essay uh, noting as an essay about considering ecology problems now first of all an opinion essay uh, it consists of five paragraphs. Paragraph one, I'm gonna write paragraph two, paragraph three, paragraph four, and paragraph five. Each of them, each of them has got uh, their own phrases and their own meanings. First of all, paragraph number one, what it tells us about. As usual, in each essay, paragraph number one tells us about we have to write their introduction to our topic so you know sometimes you might use such, uh, such kind of phrase as nowadays these days or if in case we are discussing some problem we can write like the main problem or problems of our time Etc. You might start with this kind of sentence. Later, after introducing like general one sentence, usually it's just one sentence. According to the example which is given in your book, you might continue with the phrases like in my opinion or I believe. And then in one or two sentences, in general way, you just express your opinion, like general opinion, without any kind of clarification or something, just one, two sentences. You express your general opinion. As we continue, there goes a little bit of clarification in paragraph 2 and paragraph 3. Usually in this paragraph we are going to discuss what are these problems a little bit uh, more in detail. For example, uh, you might start uh, second paragraph with the phrases such as first and foremost or the first thing to bear to bear in mind the first thing to bear in mind or my first point Is. And then you continue, you, you just tell about what is the problem, uh, what do you find, so, uh, how to say, what do you find not be suitable for our ecology system, what, cre what creates some kind of damage, and everything. And there you just list these problems. If you want to add some information here, you might uh, use uh, the phrase like, what is more, it's, the, it's still the second paragraph. What is more to add? And like, it goes on. Now, as we move on to the third paragraph. Third paragraph, you also uh, might uh, discuss another important issue. And you might start with phrases, another thing to bear in mind here you are going to write about another second issue which might cause some uh, problem problematic effect to our ecology according to your books and uh, you might have another thing to bear in mind plus you might add some phrases such which we, we 
with these phrases you are already familiar. The phrase is like, furthermore, moreover, or in addition. These phrases are useful to add some information to your message for clarification some problems. Now, your fourth paragraph, your, let me highlight it this way. Your fourth paragraph is going to be about your suggestions. Your suggestions on how to overcome these problems, on how to solve them. To overcome or how to solve these problems. Well, here you might uh, also I don't know. Here you might just suggest some solutions, suggest some uh, proposals in the way to overcome these problems, which are quite suitable, quite relevant to the topic of your writing, and that is that is the most important point in this case. As we go on here in the, uh, the fifth paragraph, there is a conclusion. Basically, conclusion requires from you restating your opinion or your view on the solution of problems listed before. Here we go. On the solutions on problems listed before, this is like the general structure of an opinion essay. And uh, this is how you uh, have to organize your writing. Also, as we go on, uh, in, uh, in the exercise below, there are going to be some kind of underlined, there are some underlined words in your sample of your essay. and. Uh, these words, they uh, might be some expressing opinions, like, in my opinion, I believe, I support, I agree. These type of phrases, they tell us about the expressing of your opinions. If you want to add some ideas, as I told, here you might uh, use phrase as furthermore, moreover, in addition, or another thing to bear in your mind. Next, also putting ideas in order, this is like first and foremost. Firstly, secondly, my first point is, my second point is just origin, original numbers to clarify which is your, uh, which idea is the first, which one is the second. Next, if you want to contrast your ideas, you want to see some, <clears throat> that there might be some second opinion on this case, you might use phrases as although. However, or on the other hand, these type of phrases they create the contrast. They create contrast, which means there might be other views on this problem. And as I told, conclusion, concluding. Restating your opinion, view on the solution. Do not bring up any, not, do not bring up anything new here. Just restate, make a general statement of all the things which you listed before, of all the things which are listed above uh, concluding paragraph. As we move on, there is writing bank. Writing bank includes lots of linkers, like although, like uh, however. All things considered as a result, all these kind of uh, linkers you might uh, find in your book, in the uh, writing back. I already sent you uh, via Edupage the 
the exercise and the, the place where you might uh, where you might find these phrases, these linkers, and uh, as as we know, like in order, this is just the theoretical part, and practical part helps us to implement this knowledge uh, in our life. Here, I gave you a task that at school you have been talking about problems facing the world in the 21st century. Now, I asked you to write essay for homework. And what are the biggest problems facing the world in the 21st century? You might write about some epidemics, I don't know. You might find, you might write about global warming, you are changing the weather conditions and everything. <coughs> well, in this case, like, you might use this structure. It's actually, not mine, but you have to use this structure if you want to express your opinion on paper correctly and logically. Uh, do not forget to, you might bring up some examples, you might explain some cases, even uh, throughout some historical period and their uh, influence on our 21st century and everything. So, do not forget to include some linkers, do not forget to include some phrases, which is also important part of your essay. Thank you for your attention.